Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, my illustrious, beautiful, wonderful family. Welcome to the Mental House with me, your host, Khadija. Hey, y'all, remember we still got these t-shirts available in all sizes. We still got, we're getting down pretty low. I want to thank y'all, all of you who have supported the movement to um, mentally get healthy. I appreciate it. Um, 10 bucks for a t-shirt. And I appreciate you, all those who have supported the mission so far. Thank you very much. Now, what I wanted to talk about this time is, okay, good. Looks very nice. I think you got, no, get your house shoes, not boots. You need, you put them inside that, um, you put them inside of that popcorn box. I saw your shoes. You put them inside that popcorn box. Okay, so anyway. Mad. Whoa. For a lot of us, this is the only emotion that we can express. This is what's happening in most poor areas, whether they're white or black. Because have you noticed that, um, this is why I said don't believe the hype. You notice that white Trailer parks and inner cities, the people that are living in them, the behavior is pretty much the same, off the chain. Poverty creates um, a certain behavior, and that's whether they're in a white person or whether it's in a black person. Y'all call it trailer trash. We call it, you know, something else. Okay? So the bottom line is there's a certain behavior that comes along with poverty. Um, and Everybody that experiences poverty experiences that type of struggle life. So that's real important to know that poverty creates a lot of anger. <laughs> so anyway, for um, so some of us, anger is the only emotion. For others, it's the only one we don't allow ourselves. Anger is paradoxically frightening and liberating. It can be a deceptive con, a trick to hide all of those emotions. It can get us out of a jam quicker than anything else. It relieves us of responsibility. It's his fault that I ran into him. It can make us feel right, whether we're right or wrong. But if your anger is covering up another emotion, do yourself a big favor. Turn it off absolutely and completely for a while and take the ultimate risk just to see if there's another emotion underneath that's dying to get out. Did you understand that? That's why I said when I listen to a lot of people that are so charged up when we start talking about, you know, uh, when they start talking about, um, man, this is without, this is without any mentioning any names or anything. Uh, people that are just, um, there's a difference in being passionate about what you're saying and just being totally either or, like no gray areas in your conversation. Because to me, that leads me to believe that there's some other underlying um, insecurities inside of your behavior. Okay. And I noticed that there's a lot of people on the internet that they get real, real extremely charged up when they're talking about certain things. And I always wonder, I'm like, what is beneath all this anger? Because the condition is definitely something to be angry about. And I'm not going to minimize it for one minute. But is this is this anger all the way from the misplaced condition that's been here? Or are you mixing them together? And is there another emotion underneath you know, that's just, again, trying to work itself out. To know if this is true or not, you'll need to spend some time alone with yourself without books or television or friends, spouses, lovers, or children. You will have to let yourself be alone, if only for a few minutes, in which you are so alone that your deepest connection to life itself is the awareness of your own heartbeat inside your chest. If there... Are other emotions there? Let yourself feel them. If after that you still feel angry, then go and let ahead. Just let yourself feel it. 
In other words, if anger is your game, try playing by a different set of rules. If it isn't, you better shoot for playing with a full deck. In addiction circle, there are a lot of those of us who can get angry and who feel comfortable with, and there are those of us who can't. I mean, it's, it's just that simple. There are some of us who can and some of us who can't. You're good at anger. If you're good at anger, take the plunge at something new. Okay, if you're good at anger, take the plunge and try something new, like hurt or sadness or fear. If you aren't good at anger, why not give anger a shot? In other words, there are a lot of us human beings who have learned so well to be good that we don't even know how to be ourselves. We don't even know how to be ourselves. Your typical addicts out there don't want us to, uh, to steal your thunder. We don't stand up for ourselves and, and then we lean on you to stand up for us. Because you're so good at doing anger. So we wind up conning ourselves and conning you too. Somebody else is doing the dirty work for the person. Y'all get what I just said? I hope you did. I hope you understood that because I did. So maybe I need to slow it down. You typical addicts out there don't want us to steal your thunder. We don't stand up for ourselves. And then we learn on to lean on you to stand up for us because you're so good at doing anger. So then we wind up conning ourselves and conning you. The game becomes do my dirty work for me and I'll do your dirty work for you. But it also becomes I'll be powerless for myself and let you express my anger for me. And then resent you for taking my power away from me. Y'all hear that? Why not try this? I think I need to get angry about this myself. It doesn't mean I don't love you or I don't need you. I just need to claim my own freaking fracking power. In fact, I'll have more power to love you when I'm done. Uh, can you go for that? How many can go for that type of conversation? I think the most important thing that you can do in a relationship, which just means you're relating, you talking, relate. The root word of relationship is relate. So to relate to another human being, you have to be able to talk. And especially in the black community, we have to learn how to allow one another to express ourselves without getting mad, without grabbing the extension cord, without grabbing a belt, without calling somebody a lying ass bitch, or, you know, or F U M F, or, or fuck you, you lying ass nigga, nigga, out, no, whatever it is. We have to be able to stand in it and allow our significant other, or our friend, or our family member, whoever. And it takes practice. Especially when you've been dysfunctional for so long. So long. That's the only way you know how to do. You don't even know none of the other emotions. You just go, you feel uncomfortable. You don't know that you're even sad. You just go straight to, I will kill you, MF. So, that right there is something to ponder. Something to think, you know, think about mad and how do we handle it all right family with that being said if you like what you hear please like subscribe share hit the bell and let's grow the channel let's not be ashamed to talk about those feelings that are inside of us that nobody wants to talk about. The ones that everybody like to act like they life is perfect. And let's share. As a matter of fact, in the next video, I got a special announcement that I'm going to be doing. Um, and, uh, well, you just got to stick around for the next video.
Bye.